Hello my loves, today I am finally, I know, I'm so sorry I've been promising this for like a month now, but I'm finally filming at my must haves as a first time mum of a fresh little baby. So these are kind of things that we use at the very start of his life for like the first like three months. Some of the stuff we're still using, like we're dedicated, but just stuff that made our lives easier, stuff we really enjoyed, like must haves, lots of these things. If you're like, you know, about to be a mum yourself or a parent or a dad or whoever, um, and you're looking for good recommendations, like stay tuned. Also, if you're looking for like gifts for people for a baby shower or anything like that, stay tuned also. So I've got a bit of a list here. I also asked Hamish what he thought too and we both definitely agreed on a lot of these items. So first thing I have to show you is a nappy kitty. Now this nappy kitty is legendary. I actually initially bought a Kmart one. It was a lot smaller than this. Put my phone. It was a lot smaller than this and I just find this one so much more practical. You may think like bigger isn't better because it's like, you know, large and in charge, but it's actually not. This fits perfectly on my tabletop next to his change table. We'll talk about that later. It also fits perfectly in the car and the boot. We take it if we're going to like Porter's grandparents and we just need to take everything on the go. Like it's already packed because we use this day to day. It's got everything we need in it. It's all organized. It's easy to see where everything is, which is very handy when you are mid poo explosion and you just need everything where you need it. You don't want to be like, oh shit, I've run out of so-and-so or like where are the nappies or like where is this and that it's all organized perfectly we travel up to our beach house in Papa Moa and I actually can fit his clothing in here too because baby clothing is so small I can literally just fit it in a compartment so like it's essentially everything we need for him in one place toys diapers clothing everything so anyway I got mine from Husk Home they're constantly on pre-order so if they're not in stock um, you can sign up for the pre-orders, but I'll link it below where I got it. I actually got it gifted to me, but I would purchase 20 of these with my own money if I had to because they're that good. It's called the Bunny Caddy. It's got pockets all around the outside. And then these beautiful straps, it's got lots of compartments and these are Velcro so you can move them to wherever you want them and customize them. And it also has a like over the shoulder strap as well, which is this one just here. I've just got it wrapped around though for now. So you can like, you know, easily transport it. And yeah, I just have heaps of stuff in here. And it just sits up on my dresser next to where he gets changed and like I said everything we need is ready to go with this. I don't know if my makeup is a vibe or like if this is just a lot like the light lip color. So all of the necessities are in here. We've also got hand sanitizer, body lotion for Porter. We've got like little rattles for him to play with while I'm changing him. We've got his like Panadol from the doctor in here in case like we wake up in the night and he's you know, in pain for any reason. Pretty much just was in there for after his vaccinations. Um, and this is another must have, okay? This, like we've actually got a few different nappy creams, but we tried them once or twice and never liked them as much as this. So this is magic. It's just pseudo cream and it's for like nappy rash. It's a barrier, so it's preventative as well. So we basically pop this on Porter anytime he's just starting to get a little bit red or pink. Um, we'll pop it on and immediately by the next nappy change his bum looks perfectly smooth. He's never had a bad rash ever um, and I really think this does work magic. So I'll link that below. It's just a staple and we've been using the same one since he was born and like we've still got oceans of it left. It lasts forever. And these are our favorite nappies. The Rascal and Friends. Love those. But yeah, if you are a mum, get yourself a nappy kitty. Also, if you're one to change your baby just wherever, if you're going to the lounge, if you're going to the bedroom, whatever, 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 you can chuck this over your shoulder and carry the baby at the same time and just take this with you around the house if you are that way inclined, if you live in a two-story house or anything like that. It's just so easy. It's on the go. This is actually really lightweight too. It looks like it'd be heavy, it's really not. And on that topic, changing tables. I got so many people saying to me that I would not use my change table, that I would use my bed, that I would use the floor, this, that, everything else. No, I use my change table for every single nappy change unless we're out and about in which we're doing the boot of the car or like whatever we have to do. Um, I've had to change them on the ground like at family's house and I hate it. Um, and with me, like we've got dogs. They are nosy, okay? Like I don't need them up sniffing around when I'm trying to do a nappy change. Our change table, like me and Hamish love it. And I have showed you the change table in my Instagram stories. I'll pop up some like videos and things so you can see it. Mine is from Baby on the Move and I love their website. They've got 
just so many essentials when you do have a baby on the way you can buy like heaps of stuff from them i've got a couple of favorite websites which i'll cover so i got one from there and it's got all of the like compartments that you need in the drawer but we have put it in our room at the moment and his change dresser is actually in his nursery so I could not be bothered walking back and forth you know so all I did was I took the change table part off the top of the unit and then I moved it into our bedroom on top of like my clothing dresser and voila in the next month or two we are looking at moving Porter into his own nursery because he's just outgrowing the bassinet guys like he's getting too long for it and just getting all cramped so he's just too big he needs to go into his cot so we'll just move the change table tray into that room again into the nursery again and continue to use that it's the best thing ever like I'm sorry but I am team change table 100% all the way and what I love about the change table I think it's by the brand baby letter I will link everything below I love it because when he's not getting nappy changes anymore or he's too big for the change table or whatever you just take the change table part off like the changing tray and then you've just got a beautiful set of drawers for clothing, whatever. And another thing about the change table is because he was elevated up a lot closer to like Hamish or I, like it made it so much easier to like lean in and like talk to him. Like, you know, when he was a fresh little newborn, we could get up really close to him with our face and like smile and play with him and everything. And so now he's so good at getting his nappy changed, you guys. Like he loves it. He'll just smile and giggle and loves it which is really nice because obviously you're changing a lot of nappies it's like a little bonding time for us like every time I change his nappy I just make it really lovely like I'll sing to him and chat to him and you know just make it enjoyable as well another thing I highly recommend is getting a little bucket so we have this little bucket that you can obviously just wash and when we're changing his nappy rather than like bending down and like finding the nappy bin which we've got the Tommy Tippy one which I really like it twists and clicks so I'll link it down below as well it is really good like you don't get any odor or anything from any of the nappies right but the thing is like it's quite hard to open and shut so when I've got the baby on the change table I don't want to leave him obviously in case he tries to like roll off or anything like that I'm not risking that so we have this little bucket on top that we put next to the change table next to the nappy kitty and once we've like taken the dirty diaper out rolled it up we just pop it in the bucket finish the nappy change you know move them to a safe space whatever and then we can just go ahead and take the nappy from the bucket and put it in the actual bin you know when the coast is clear i find that really helpful i don't know if that's a tip that anyone else will find helpful but hamish and i have done that ever since day one um it just makes us feel more comfortable we just got a cheap little bucket you know just like a kmart bucket we love our Nuna stroller. I'll link down below my newborn baby haul where I showed you all of the different like stroller, car seats, clothing, heaps of stuff that I bought, well not bought, some of it I bought, some of it I got gifted which was really kind but I'll link that video below. The stroller we got, oh my god we love it love it it is so good it's so easy to use easy to pack down in the car and the Nuna carry once again, I'll pop up pictures and things, but the Nuna Carry, um, we used that for probably the first, how long? Three months or so. It is pr quite pricey for the amount of time you use it, but it saved our asses so many times. Once he was vaccinated and like had protection against whooping cough and stuff like that, I felt so much better about taking him out. So we'd go to like the odd um, cafe and stuff like that, just to have a little bit of normalcy in our lives. I love how you could put up the hood, you could like clip forward the little shade, so he was kind of protected as well from like people getting in close to him, germs a little bit and stuff like that. And it was nice and dark, and because he was flat laying, he would just go have a nap. So it was perfect when he was really young, but you know, once he was like three months old, he just wanted to look around. So now he's in the Ara, I believe it is, and we also love it. People have been asking for my review on like all the capsules stuff that we have and yeah I can't complain at all I would just say like you know it can be pricey for how long they're in them but at the same time for me I just feel like the practicality and just the ease of use was like really worth it and like valuable to us so it kind of just depends what you need what you like what you value for us I can't complain like at all so easy to use he loved them he was comfortable he was safe 10 out of 10 also love his bassinet I'm going to be so sad when he doesn't fit in his bassinet anymore. So definitely recommend that. We have the Edwards & Co Snooze Pod. It's kind of like curved at the bottom. So it doesn't rock itself or anything. But when you want to rock it manually, you can rock it. 
which I love. We don't really have to do that anymore, but when he was really, really new, sometimes I would just jiggle it. And sometimes what I'd do, because he was next to me, right? I would just lay down in bed and use my foot and just like jiggle it, you know, at three in the morning, four in the morning, five in the morning. Very handy just to help him, you know, drift off to sleep. I really loved it. I felt like he was really safe in there. Also, you can use it as like a co-sleeper, like you can drop one side and do all that kind of stuff if you want to as well but we just use it as a freestanding at bassinet and he loved it he sleeps really really well in there and happily goes in there for his naps he goes in there happily for you know nighttime sleeps as well except we're currently kind of in like the four month sleep regression so some days he has okay sleep some days not so good but he's still sleeping in his bassinet and yeah we really like that and on the same topic of sleep the white noise machines are so valuable you guys so valuable make sure you get yourself a noise machine because they love the white noise you can turn it up kind of loud there's lots of information if you google it you can have it pretty loud not obviously like super loud but decent loud like if you imagine a running shower or something like that and it really helps the baby just sleep and especially if you're making lots of noise around the house like they just sleep through it and the other tip to do with sleep is a heating pad so you can buy these heating pads that are for your body to wrap around your tummy to wrap around your back like whatever the case may be we got one of them Hamish actually picked it up he's like look what I got I feel like this is gonna be amazing and it is. You just plug it in. We lay it down on his bed, right? It turns off automatically in 40 minutes or so, which I love because just in case for any reason we ever forgot, you know, I'm not worrying about it burning the house down. We haven't forgotten yet, but it's a good feature. Um, and we just take it out, obviously. We lay it down. Um, we put his, like, sleeping outfit, um, his swaddle when he was being swaddled, his sleep suit, more recently he's in a sleep suit with his arms out we just lay it down on that as well to warm up a little bit just so it's nice and cozy because it's still quite cold here especially in the evenings where i live and it doesn't like scorch you know it's not super hot it's a really nice temperature and yeah we take out the heating pad before we put him on in the bed of course like we never put him on top of the heating pad that i hope that that's clear because i feel like some people think i'm a terrible mother or something and misunderstand me but no we take it out and it just leaves the sheets and his outfit just the perfect warm temperatures if like we've just had him in our arms because obviously when you've got him in your arms and then you transfer him to his bed and it's like bitter and cold like hello that would not be nice that's a bit of a shock to the system so it just makes that transition so much smoother and I found that it just really helped as well when he was a lot younger in the middle of the night because sometimes if we put him down in his bed and it was like cold all of a sudden he'd wake up like oh you know or like when we were swaddling him in a swaddle that wasn't super warm um, another quick tip sometimes I would chuck the swaddle like under my shirt and just kind of like wear it while I was like feeding the baby and stuff like that so that it had a little bit of my scent on it and it did warm up by itself as well like that was before we got the heating pad as well so just a couple little tips there but yeah definitely recommend a heating pad the shusha it's this creepy machine that literally sits there going shh but when they're new so helpful i don't really use it that often anymore because i'm trying to teach porter to self soothe self 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 soothe why is that a tongue twister self soothe but you know if he's actually like feeling especially overstimulated or anything like that sometimes i'll still use it but when he was like a baby man honestly it would get him off like that to sleep it was so good we actually discovered it for the first time when we went for a newborn photo shoot when he was like three weeks old i think um and they used it there to keep him asleep the whole time i was like what is this sorcery yeah something more for when they're fresh i think okay another kind of sleep related thing the swaddle so if your baby likes being swaddled but will just resist and break out of every swaddle that's what porter did he liked being swaddled like he wouldn't really fall asleep without one but he would just escape like we would wake up halfway through the night the blank like the swaddle blanket would be everywhere he'd be like wriggling out of it it would freak me out because i was like oh my god what if he covers his face or something you know it would freak me out okay and he didn't really like the love to dream with his arms up there was a couple of times he didn't mind it but most of the time he did prefer like arms down swaddle right so my bestie lent me these they're so good the miracle blanket so we had two of them um, I've got them wrapped up so I'm ready to give them back to her now because now we've um, transitioned to arms out which is going really well finally it was a nightmare at first but anyway that's a whole nother story these are called the miracle blankets 
So they are a swaddle, looks like this. You pop baby down on top, you wrap over the arm and underneath his back. So you just lift up his bum and tuck it under his back. Over the arm, under the back, and then you lift his legs in if you want. You can leave the legs out if you want. And then you just wrap and then wrap, 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 wrap that around in their nice little tucked in burrito. I'll link them once again below so you can actually watch. You can look up tutorial videos as well on YouTube or lots of websites have like little mini tutorials on how to use the miracle blanket. But he was the safest in this. He didn't wriggle out. He didn't get swaddled over his face, near his face. Um, it stayed put. He slept better. Honestly, the day that we had to come out of these, you know when he started trying to roll around, he's now rolling completely. Lord help me. I'm nervous that he's gonna just start like legging it soon. <laughs> he just slept so, so well in them. So these were definitely a huge favorite. I think that's all of the sleep things. We're into different stuff now. So if you guys are still interested, like in another one of these videos in another like, you know, three, four, five, six months time, I could do a like follow up to this video of stuff that we found helpful from age four months onwards because obviously the things that you kind of like do change as the baby gets bigger. The snuggle bath and the bath temperature thing, amazing. The temperature thing you just, it's called the pebble I think, you just shake it. I bought it off, was it baby on the move or dimples, one of those two. You just shake it, pop it in the water and it tells you if the bath temperature is too hot, too cold and then it has three stages of normal. So warm normal, mid normal and cold at normal. So yeah, you can constantly check the temperature of the water. That's what I was so paranoid about. I didn't want to put my baby in the bath and like burn him or get him too cold, you know. So that was so helpful. And he loves his snuggle bath. It is the cutest thing ever. We just pop it on the ground like in our shower fill it up using the shower head it only takes a couple of minutes yeah we just wash them in that i've also put it on the kitchen bench before with my mum. i just put like a towel underneath it so that it was like you know nice and non-slip or anything like that so my mum could help give him a bath one time and he loves it it's so cute so that was really practical for us because our guest bathroom that has a bath is super messy and the bath is just inaccessible right now and filthy and dusty so having his own little bath is way better at this age and it's got like a little seat in it so like he's not going to slip under. We of course like support him though like especially when he was quite young we'd just hold him in there. We wouldn't like let him go. Now he sits up by himself pretty well inside of it like he doesn't really slide so it's amazing. And then I think they've got another one for toddlers which I don't think we will get because I think by the time he outgrows this bath. Oh, it depends how fast it grows. I don't know. But we might be in the new house where we've got a bath and, you know, I can have baths with them then and whatever. But right now, the snuggle bath, if you don't have access to a bath or, you know, it's just impractical for you, then the snuggle is amazing. Also in summer, I've seen people fill them with like colder water so they can like splash around in them in the sunshine and just, you know, use it more like a little paddling pool almost. Um, so that's a really cool idea as well. But I love it. Like, I would 100% purchase one again in another life. Do you know what I mean? Like, I love it. Let's talk about breastfeeding real fast. So, the first thing I loved, like, this made such a difference to my breastfeeding journey once I got home from the hospital. Because trying to get a newborn baby into position to breastfeed was not easy for me. Like, we already struggled with his latch and everything. It was such a struggle. So, having a pillow like this, it's like a little crescent-shaped pillow amazing i don't use this anymore though so this is definitely one of those first like three months kind of things especially when they're fresh if you're planning on it breastfeeding i highly recommend one of these you can just kind of tuck it in tuck it into your back and you can just kind of tuck it here and rest the baby on it and it gives you a bit more like mobility and freedom to use your hands and get them into the positions that you need to get them into it saves your arms and your back as well if you find yourself like really tensed up holding them in a certain position way more relaxing now he's too big doesn't need this at all he has a lot of bottles these days but we are still breastfeeding as well so yeah i don't need it anymore the other thing i loved this for was tummy time so i just have it on the ground don't mind all the stains i spilt my iced coffee on it i'll put it like this and then when he was smaller and he was like getting some head strength or neck strength he would just lean on this as well and he loved that because it got him up higher and he was able to look around and it really encouraged him to lift his head more and more so that was really handy we did that from like 
I don't know, a few weeks old, like a month old or something like that. If you are having a little bit of issues with tummy time, then perhaps something like this could be really helpful for you. You can obviously put them on different areas of the pillow as well. If you want to add like a different height and then just supervise them and, you know, rest them on it and just help them out a little bit. But yeah, it's a really good like supportive kind of tool, I guess. Another breastfeeding must have or just, yeah, in general, if you're pumping or whatever, nipple cream so my favorite one i can't find mine mine's like almost out i think it's by my computer somewhere i use the pure mama one it is legendary i never got cracked nipples or anything like that like it's so hydrating if they started feeling dry or anything like that i just smothered it on and i love it because you don't have to wipe it off before baby breastfeeds next i just kind of like rub it in you know um but yeah you don't have to like clean it you know what i mean it's safe and the best lip balm ever so I would also use it, you know, nipple and lips. Even if you're not, like, um, breastfeeding, I would literally buy it just as a lip balm. I'm not even joking, guys. It literally worked magic on my lips. I had, like, peeling lips, whoops, peeling, and it repaired them, like, overnight. So good. It's magic. And nipple pads, because I leaked like crazy. In fact, right now, I have also leaked. I'm about to show you something else. Like, I still just leak, so nipple pads. I love the pigeon ones. I got a few different brands. Um, and the pigeon ones are the softest. I thought it wouldn't matter. Like I just bought some cheap ass ones off like Shein and I was like, they'll be fine. No, they hurt. Like when your nipples are tender, oh, it was so sore. So softer is better and I love the pigeon ones. Definitely a must have. And then the other breastfeeding kind of must have, if you've got like a hard out let down, you know, you leak milk, especially while breastfeeding, get yourself one of these. So I just used it. And I only used it for like a couple of minutes and it literally collects milk. This is like not much for me because as you saw, I kind of let it leak everywhere. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but I mean, it went all over my top and I was like, actually I should show people. Literally just suction this on. It's called a ladybug. I'm not going to use this milk because I haven't actually sterilized this particular one before using it. Like I haven't sterilized it in a couple of days, so I'm just going to tip this out. But I can get usually between like 10 to 40 or 50 mil by doing nothing you literally just press it in stick it on your nipple it suctions on and then while you breastfeed milk leaks in here 10 to 50 mil depending on the time of day depending on how full i am will just pop into here and it's so good because you can collect that throughout the whole day and you've got enough for a feed by the end of it it's so good and the haka what was it the you know the manual pump haka one that everyone loves this is also Haka, the brand. But the other one did not work for me. I found it kind of painful no matter how I put it on, no matter what suction I use. I found it kind of painful um, and it just got in my way. Honestly, just the way I would breastfeed, just my positioning personally, it got in the way all the time. This does not get in the way because it just tucks into your bra and it's amazing. I love that. So highly recommend those. I actually have like four of them. So I always have them like clean and sterilized and ready to go. Except today, of course, because... Typical. A must have for fresh babies too. We loved our merino clothing. We had heaps from dimples and we wore the living crap out of it. Honestly, it's worth the money guys. I never thought I would say that because it's quite expensive, but it is. I've tried a few different merino brands and I think my second favorite would be at the brand that you can get at Farmers. Um, but the dimple stuff is just way better. It's so much like thinner and more lightweight. Thinner, not in a bad way. Thinner is in comfier, roomy the sizing is amazing he was in the size newborn until he was like three or four months old no three months old now he's in the size three months it is four months the sizing is amazing like you will use it for months it's not the kind of thing that your baby will grow out of super quick keeps them warm or cool you know it helps to regulate their body temperature it was really really good for hamish and i when that portal was like fresh because we were always worried about you know overheating him and things like that so that type of fabric is just perfect for a new little baby so that yeah they don't overheat they're really comfy it's so soft on their skin we could layer it up we could put the swaddle on top obviously like it was just amazing i love it and he still wears it all the time um we've just sized up obviously it's some of our favorite clothing it's so so good we also love heaps of our other like you know grow suits and things um by heaps of different brands cotton on bond like heaps of different brands but those Dimples Merino products are really, really good. Now let's quickly talk play because I had no idea what the heck to do with a newborn, honestly. Like, 
it's such an awkward time don't you reckon like you get your baby home and you just have them and you're like this is a bit awkward like what do I do with them, you know? Most of your time at that stage when you've got a newborn is taken up by cluster feeding and just constantly on the boob, constantly eating and then sleeping a lot. So when they're awake and they're not hungry and they don't need to be diaper changed, it's like, what do I actually friggin' do with you? It's a, yeah, it's, it's weird, don't you reckon? So I have one, no, two things that he really liked. And I would say, this was the kind of thing, like the only thing you really liked for about two months. We also played a music, like music, but the bouncer. This is the old school New Zealand brand. What is it? Baby Bounce. This is cheap. Babybounce.co.nz. Um, we got it from like Baby Factory or something like that. It's just got a blanket on it. My friend's mum, I think, knitted this or Nana. So cute. Anyway, so it's just like a crochet design. It's just a little bouncer and you like that. And you know, sometimes if we were just cooking dinner or whatever, we could just pop him down on this and bounce him and he liked that a lot. He did like the Nuna, you know, what's it called, the Nuna leaf as well, but preferred this. I think he prefers the leaf a bit more now. He doesn't really use this now because he's rolling and everything, he's a little bit too big for it. So if he sits in it, he doesn't really bounce, he just kind of sinks it because <laughs> he's too heavy. But yeah, it's just a super simple design and yeah, when he was small, it was handy. It was just, yeah, it was a good place to put him to be hands-free if we needed to like do the dishes, cook, you know whatever like he was just happy and safe in this we didn't let him sleep in it of course i'm talking about when he was awake and just you know we didn't know how to entertain him so kind of bouncing him worked and then the other thing black and white book i get questions every day on where i got this from so i'll link it below but these literally you look at this you're like this is the most boring shit i've ever seen in my entire life like what do you even do but porter frothed over this he loved it. He would stare at it for so long, even before he was smiling and laughing, like he would just stare at this and clearly he enjoyed it. It's really good to stimulate their brains and like, you know, they love high contrast. It helps with development. They find it very interesting to look at. You know, there's not a lot of things they like when they're really small, but they love these. And if you are, you know, buying someone a baby shower gift or something, honestly, get them something like that. And they might like, look at you like what the is this but just tell them just be like honestly just say my mate had one of these for her newborns talk about me and just say my mate her baby loved it babies love this okay i swear to you and they're super super cheap and they're just fabric so you know if the baby pulls it or you know it falls over it's not gonna hurt them or anything like that love now let's say you know moving on to when he was like two three months old to four months old currently he still loves this stuff the first change um, I saw was him enjoying sensory toys. So you can buy this sensory toy box from the Organized Mama. Lots of brands do them too. Or if you want, you could easily do a little DIY moment. Babies love sensory stuff and it's really good for the development too. So the box that I have, it has crinkle paper. He loves it. I can't find it right now. It's like in his toy box thing. But crinkle paper that makes a noise when you squish it. This with ribbons. He loves to hold on to it. He loves when I put it over his face like this. He loves it. He could do it for hours. He giggles and giggles and giggles. And before he was laughing, you could tell he liked it because he would like crinkle up his little neck and he'd be like, you know, he, he's just loved this ever since, you know, he was past that kind of super fresh newborn potato stage and like started interacting with things. The contrast, you know, the way it moves, like he found it very, very interesting as he developed. We've got these like ones with the bells, which is quite interesting for him too. Also, you can get things like tissue paper, um, like metallic crinkly papers. Like if you just go to the craft store, you'll find so many things that, you know, a newborn will like or like a two month old or whatever. Um, and especially if you just get it with like black and white, like you can't go wrong. So yeah, this is still his favorite toy. He loves this. Another thing, as he was learning hand eye coordination, these teething bracelets, not even for teething, but he would like hold on to them. I would like just put it in his hand like if he went like this I'd put it against his hand and he'd grab it before he could like aim you know he can aim a bit better now but you know a month ago or so um and he would just practice like putting it in his mouth and chewing on it because he was trying to chew on his fingers and all that kind of thing and these are really good so they're just these mushy teething bracelets and they'll still come in handy when he is teething and everything too he still loves chomping on these you can just pop it around their wrist and yeah, it's just good to help with their hand-eye coordination, I think, when they're, like, experimenting with putting things in their mouths. Nice and easy to clean, too. He's upgraded with his book. 
This is his favorite and also we have a Winnie the Pooh one in the car which he loves as well. It's just like a soft book like this but it also has crinkle and it's got little ribbons and things. So I'll link both of them down below. But my friend bought him this for my baby shower and it's like four pages long. It's the most boring book in the whole world and Hamish can read it back to front without even reading it. Like he's memorized it and he can do it in reverse you know there's not that many words but Porter loves it he just cracks up laughing he'll stare at it it really helped with tummy time I could just prop this up and he'd get up on his tummy and he'd stare at it for ages loves it really good when they start enjoying colors when they get a little bit older you know three months old or something like that I would say that's when he started really loving color so loved that especially this page he loves this page stares at it for ages and then the last toy I'll show you because you know <laughs> Still, he doesn't need that many toys yet. Like, you know, he's only four months old. He doesn't find a whole lot interesting. Like, between the books and, like, the sensory toys, he's totally happy. You don't have to go crazy. But this here is really good. I take this on trips as well because it vibrates. It's this little hedgehog by Fisher Price. And it plays lullabies. It vibrates. And you can set it to different volumes, different times, blah, blah, blah. And you just press his tummy. And it vibrates really gently. And plays lullabies you can set it to music only vibrate only but I find the vibrations in the music if he's a little bit fussy when he goes into his car seat occasionally he is because maybe he doesn't want to sit down like he wants to be standing up and looking around at the world he loves doing that at the moment so sometimes when I put him in his seat he's like no I don't want to sit down right now and he gets a bit cranky you know so I'll just put this on and I'll hold the vibrations into his chest like this and just give him a few minutes with it. He'll cuddle it, he can lift it, it's not too heavy. He'll bring it up to his mouth and nibble on his ears, but it just calms him down. Like I think the vibrations really help. It's really like cuddly and just lovely and he really likes this and it's just, yeah, it's a nice little tool just to soothe them I guess. Oh that's the other thing I love. Oh my god he's got the sloth. It's like a little like cuddly thing that they grow attached to. When he's older um, if he's still using a pacifier you can hook up to four pacifiers on each of his little feet and when he's older in his bed um, I wouldn't do it for a few more months yet but you know when he can move around freely and he's really good at flipping himself around and everything and not getting things on his face he can have it in bed with him too so if he in the middle of the night and he wants his pacifier it's really easy for him to find is the idea of it but right now we just have it during the day and in cars and stuff like that if we're going out and about we take it with us because he cuddles it like he'll sit in his pram he'll just cuddle it and he can have his pacifier and it's just like a comforting thing too he loves cuddling it and he'll like just squish it between his hands it's really cute something i've learned is newborns don't need a whole lot of things it's really up to you all a newborn needs is some like warm clothes the essentials for changing them like, as far as toys go, you can literally just DIY most things. But, you know, if you're like me and you just want some stuff to make your life easier, then check the down bar because I'll link all of the stuff I talked about today down there. All your newborn really needs is just love, safety, safe place to sleep, all of that kind of thing. And cuddles, they'll be so happy. So don't stress too much if you're pregnant and you're like, oh my god, feeling super overwhelmed with everything. Don't stress out too much. Everything I've listed, I hand on heart love. So hopefully it helps you out if you are just looking for a few extra things to, like I said, make your life easier. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you want another one in a few more months because all of the favorites will change and I'm sure he'll have a whole lot of different favorite toys by the time, you know, he's like eight months or a year old. Time is flying. Like it's messed up, but anyways. Let me know if there's any other baby themed videos you would like to see and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.